Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Um, hopefully you just finished the overview on inside out drafting and we're looking for uh, some specific tools on like how you're going to do this work. Right. And so to start off with that inside out drafting, I'm going to share my screen. And so to start off in inside out drafting, you're going to have your thesis statement and I put this thesis statement right here um, so that everybody kind of sees what um, what I'm working on close to these tabs here. And so my the my provisional thesis or my working thesis is in order to achieve happiness, individuals need to be honest about their goals and values and choose paths that allow them to use their gifts and talents to serve the greater good. All right. Um, I'm not in love with it. I think it's a little general, um, but it passes the who cares test. Somebody could take an opposition, uh, excuse me, an opposing view of this and be able to write a fairly cohesive thesis. So if I'm looking at this and I'm looking to prove this statement to be true, I need to break this down into some, into some helpful parts. All right, so I'm saying in order to achieve happiness. Now we all know that happiness has a whole bunch of different definitions, right? You have hedonic happiness, which is just pleasure. You have eudaimonic happiness, which is having uh, goals. You have um, purpose and meaning, right? You have all these different ways we can understand happiness. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to need to, before anything else, I'm going to need to define what achieving happiness is. So actually, I can even pull this out. Right here. So one of my topics I'm going to have to use is what is happiness. I'm going to have to address this. I'm going to have to give a definition. All right. So then after that, individuals need to be honest about their goals and values. So I, maybe I would say. We'll make this a different color. I maybe I'll, maybe I want to put a paragraph where I want to talk a little bit about individual happiness versus social um, conventions about happiness. Right, so maybe I think there's we spent a lot of time in class talking about individual happiness and um, you know what makes us actually happy versus what society tells us should make us happy. So I'm gonna put that, and then I'm gonna put honesty about values, and then I'm gonna put goals, and I'm gonna separate these two things out. Because these are both ideas we talked about. Honesty about values, um, not uh, lying to ourselves, still being delusional, like uh, Mark Manson said. I'm going to say what really matters. Now, this is just a prompt to me, right? So this isn't necessarily all going to end up in my paper, but I want to give myself a framework. Concrete goals. I'm, I'm just going to ask why are goals important? Right? So, um, what is happiness, individual versus uh, social conventions around happiness, honesty and values, uh, honesty about goals? I'll make this a color. Values, I'll make this a color. Right? I'm going to put choose. The quote unquote right path. So that's right here. I'm running out of colors, but that's okay. Make that one gray. And then uh, as I move forward, it says it allows them to use gifts and talents to serve the greater good. 
I'm going to put this in red. I guess I don't know. It's hard to see red. Um, oh, look at that. All these colors are there. That's awful. Anyway, so as we look at this, right, choosing the right path using our talents slash gifts. All right, so what I have here is I have a framework. Now, after this, so I have our thesis statement. This thesis statement is going to come at the end of the introduction. Then I have one paragraph, two paragraphs, three paragraphs, four paragraphs, five paragraphs, six paragraphs. And then I'm going to talk about um, what prevents people from experiencing happiness. All right. And then um, I'm going to put conclusion. So what we have is a framework that's going to allow us to. Um, I have a frame. We have a framework that's going to allow us to build an essay, because each of these questions prompts you to give a whole bunch of different responses and allusions to the text. So I'm going to stop this right now. And what I want everybody to do is I want you to focus on um, taking your thesis statement and pulling it apart into these strands the way I described. And once you're done, you can move on to the next video.